guys uh, another day here just got my uh, head gasket in uh, if you guys were curious which one I'll be using uh, with this build it is a Tomai Tomei um, 90 millimeter head gasket uh, normally you want to go like uh, 0.5 over um, than what your bore size is so I'm doing a 89.5 millimeter bore uh, so 90 point or 90 millimeter head gasket is what I'm running uh, and thickness wise this one is a uh, 1.2 millimeter don't know how well you guys can see that and there's the part number if you guys are curious so uh, yeah just got this in the mail uh, this is the only thing that has come today so far um, so I'm not sure if the piston ring or yeah replacement piston rings or the ring filer will be here uh, but that's all I'm waiting on and then I'll be able to put the pistons in the block pistons and rods and uh, yeah start assembling this motor and I cannot wait for lots of boost uh, big turbo and uh, yeah lots of fun what's up guys it's been a few days since my last update um, and the reason is is because I still haven't received the replacement ring set um, I actually ordered two of them and uh, they just actually I guess there was an issue with the um, the shipping so they just uh, overnighted me some so I should have those uh, tomorrow uh, you guys are probably gonna see this video I'm probably just gonna make it one video but I got the uh, ring filer here and I already went ahead and put the bottom, or the oil rings and the second ring on, uh, piston number one and two. Um, so I still have three and four to do. Uh, like I said, one and two, and then I still have three and four uh, left to do. And then that way, tomorrow, whenever I do get the, uh, the ring sets, uh, the only rings that I need from them is the number one ring because I messed it up. Um, so basically all the rings will be on the pistons other than the ring number one so just kind of speed stuff up um, and then like I said I'll get those filed down to size and then I will drop in the pistons and rods and uh, also what just got finished today was my head so I'm actually able to go and pick up my head from the machine shop uh, valve stem seals valve job whatever um, they finally finished so now I will have my block my head and I'll have all the parts needed to assemble this thing so as soon as I get these rods in, or uh, rings in, I'll put the rods in, pistons in, and then basically just assemble everything from there. I uh, don't know if the S366 turbo is going to fit um, in the same location as the S256. Uh, it should be pretty close, but I'm not sure. Um, the exhaust was super close to my transmission uh, before, so hopefully, I don't know, we'll see what happens. Um, hopefully I don't have to modify that. That's really the only uh, issue that I you know can see kind of popping up um, But I'll definitely keep you guys posted on that. But uh, yeah All right, so this dark colored ring is the number two ring um, and this is going to be for cylinder number three So I'm going to go ahead and place this down in here and uh, you can do this uh, multiple different ways, but I just kind of squeeze it a little bit and Turn it downwards and then I just grab the piston Push it down a little bit just to uh, level it out, even it out. Get your feeler gauge. And uh, these are already, so originally I was gonna do 0 .022 for the second ring, um, but it seems like these are already pretty much gapped at like 0 .023, um, at least the first two were. So that's, yeah, 0 .022 does not fit on this one either. Uh, 0 0.023 Yeah, so This one does need to be filed down just a tiny bit um, The other two did not so other two are already a little bit bigger uh, right around 0 0.023 so that's kind of what I'm going to be going off of is 0 0.023 um, and then 0 0.020 for the for the number one ring. So uh, as you guys can see, you just slide this in there. If it doesn't fit like that, then you're gonna have to file off a little bit. All right, guys, this is uh, the number one piston ring for the number three cylinder. Um, so it needs to be ground off just a little bit. Uh, not too sure really how well you guys can see uh, trying to do this and film at the same time is kind of hard, but. Anyway, it's going to take off just a little bit. So, this is what I do. Set the uh, piston ring in there. Uh, get your piston. 
push it down just a tiny bit I'd say about an inch or so just so it's uh, nice and flat and straight and then what you're gonna want to do is take your feeler gauge this is 0 .00 or sorry 0 .020 I don't know how well you guys can see that and you just want to slide it in there doesn't quite slide so I'm going to take off just a little bit more alright guys uh, all four of these are finite well actually two of these number three and four are finished so you guys can see I have the uh, two oil oil ring rails that's hard to say um, the expanding oil ring the middle thing and then the second oil ring and then the first ring uh, so three and four are completely done um, also as far as the placement I'm just going by the uh, OEM uh, ring you know direction um, and uh, like I said, I still am waiting. I should have it tomorrow, the two replacement rings. Uh, all I need is just the number one ring. Um, and then I'm just going to file those two down for these two cylinders, one and two. And uh, file them down to 0 .020. Um, and then I should be good to go. And I'll be able to start assembling everything. I have everything else. Um, like I said, uh, first ring is 0 .020. My second ring is 0 .023. And then you don't really have to gap the uh, the oil rails or oil expanding ring or anything like that. So all you have to do is just worry about this really just those uh, number one and number two rings. And then like I said, going to go ahead and get that done and then start assembling the, the block. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know down in the comments below what you guys want to see as far as uh, the engine assembly. Like I said, I'm going to try to film as much as I can, but if there's anything in specific that you guys want to see, please let me know and I'll be sure to, uh, to film that more in depth. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.